I'm Jamie Z, and this is Manitou Springs, Colorado. I'm sitting about halfway up the Manitou Incline, or as it's known locally, the Incline. This is one of the most unusual hikes you'll find in Colorado, or elsewhere. The Incline started out in 1907 as a narrow gauge railway built to access the water tanks at the top of the hill. The railway became a tourist attraction, and for many years you could ride the train to the top. But in 1990, a rock slide damaged the tracks and the tourist attraction was closed. Shortly after the train stopped operating, locals started climbing the abandoned tracks as a fitness challenge. To say this is a tough hike is an understatement. The incline is less than a mile long, yet climbs more than 2,000 feet in elevation. The surface is built of old railroad ties, so this is more of a stair climb than a typical hike. making this one of the longest staircases in the world. There are more than 2,700 steps from bottom to top, and every 100 steps is marked so you can track your progress on the way up. And I can tell you from experience, the steps seem to go on and on forever. Numerous websites and signs along the trail warn of the danger in climbing the incline. Not only is it a difficult hike, but there's no road access. So any rescue operation will be completely on foot. My favorite sign is this one, which asks if you're being pressured to make the hike. For many years, it was technically illegal to climb the incline because parts of the trail cross private property but in 2013, an agreement was reached, and today, it's legal to climb the incline. And it's free, though you'll probably have to pay for parking. In recent years, a competitive culture has grown up around the incline, and the current speed record is held by Joseph Gray, 17 minutes and 45 seconds. For comparison, the first time I climbed the incline it took me an hour and 20 minutes, and I didn't bother to keep track of the seconds. Another unbelievable record is held by Roger Austin, who in 2015 climbed the incline 1,719 times. That's almost five times per day on average. I just cannot imagine. For most people, this is a challenging workout that takes several hours to go up and back. It's certainly a bucket list item, and the view from up here over the town of Manitou Springs is definitely worth it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around. Oh!